Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, it's a bit of a Cosworth day. We've got some long studying being done on one of the 200 blocks and we've got a very important process which we need to show you on that. Also, we've got some valve guide removal on one of the cylinder heads ready to be ported. So watch and learn guys. Okay, so unfortunately guys, we've got the, the crank set up, the Renault 5 turbo crank that we knife edged. Thanks ever so much for all your um, comments the other day on the knife edging of this. Sort of mixed comments really. I always read as many as I can and sort of take everything on board. In the past we have done plenty of these and um, we've never, there's some of you guys saying that you sort of run into trouble with balance and what have you obviously because you've got the, the, the counter balance weights there that you've removed but we've never We've never had any issues in the past. It just sort of makes it more free running, um, especially on these straight fours. So I don't think there's any problem as long as you do balance the crank assembly afterwards. Doesn't seem to be any issue. And you know, we put them in plenty of things that sort of rev fairly hard and um, never really heard anything back. So of any vibration issues and that. So um, yeah, it all seem all, all okay really. But unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to balance this one today in today's video, probably, um, the next the next video so keep watching right so we've got the sapphire cosworth cylinder head that we've got to take the we've got to do some porting on this we've got to take this out to 26 and a half mil on the ports go fairly leery and carlos is just going to remove the existing valve guides now these valve guides you've obviously got two different sizes you've got seven mil on the inlet eight mil on the exhaust but on the back of the guide it's important to knock them through from this end because on the back is the circlip and if you try and knock them out through the through the other way the circlip's just gonna well it's either gonna come off or it's just gonna start pushing through the aluminium where the where the guide goes so not a good idea and um, so we push them out this way the only thing is they're very tight and we've got a selection of tools here which we use to um to sort of wallop them out but you've got to make sure that you see the end of that tool there that's no good you've got to have a very flat surface on there otherwise it just starts to bury itself down the guide and spray the guide out and then you've got to sort of machine them out so carlos is just on the lathe over there just turning one turning one down now your hand Carlos. It's all right, no worries. So this is the Cosworth head now, all cleaned up by Carlos, got the valve guides removed and we're going to go ahead and port this cylinder head and this is going to go out to 26 mil inlet and exhaust and um, that'll be all good then for the potential 600 horsepower that the customer would like to run. Right guys, so I've got this Cosworth 200 block up here, which I'm 10 long stud in. You can see that I've done eight already. The reason we haven't put the 17 mil counter bore in the top, the center two, is because if I show you down this water jacket, see down there, these center two here don't actually go into a water jacket. They're just, you have to bore them straight down um, so they, ain't, they don't break through into the water jacket. So really there's no need to put a seal in there. It's just another machining process. 
that you don't really have to do. <clears throat> um, but what I wanted to show you is these N2, well, and these two as well, why it's so important to run this end mill down before you run the drill down, because we've had this before, that you see I've run the end mill sort of, I've run it halfway down already, but that bit of casting in there that I'm running the end mill down is, the other side of that is an oil way. And as you can see, it's sort of, if you run a drill down there, it would just go off center. And then by the time you put the stud in, the stud will be right on the, on the piss, as they say. Um, so we run the end mill down very slowly, right to the bottom until it puts a flat on the bottom. And then we can run the drill down and that will, that will assure that the, the stud will end up vertical and in line. very slow because of the length of the end mill it doesn't really like it down the bottom of there if you go too quick it just ends up flapping about and chattering you just have to go very very slow but this is the most important process of ten stud in one of these So that is perfectly adequate now to run the, the drill down. So you can see now, when I run that drill up and down, that is running perfectly parallel. So what we do is we're using this as a bit of a centre drill really. And you see my tape mark at the top. be about five mil higher. That tape mark really is 125 mil from the, from the bottom of the drill. And that is marked for these four here, which we actually go five mil deeper on because these four are the ones with the lugs in the base of the block. So you see down there, see there's a lug that you drill into but you want to be going five mil deeper on those lugs because if you don't like with the old style studs you can end up breaking those lugs off in the high tension so that's what we go five mil deeper for so if I get a bit more, you can see down there now see down there basically about just use it as a bit of a center drill and now we've got to run the tapping drill down there and go to the correct height on that so these two bits of tape here we've got the 125 mil which we use for the depth for those four and we've got the 120 mil height here and that goes in line with the surface of the block and that means we know we're at 120 mil Many, um, sorry, 120 mil deep on the surface of the block. And you don't want to go any deeper than that because down there, see that four plug is on the far left hand side. That is the oil way, the main oil gallery there. So what this will do, going 120 mil deep on this will basically mean you're about probably about four or five mil above that oil jacket, so that's why you certainly don't want to go to 125 mil on these ones. So 
there we go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the, the tap up. And this is the long series tap. We're going to set this up in there. We're just going to start it off so we know we're parallel out. And then we're going to finish it off with the tap wrench. We've run this tap down there. And just blow the swamp out of the way there. We're just going to run that tap down there again, just make sure it's completely bottomed out. Always assuring that the tap is def dead in the centre of that hole. Although you start it with the mill, so it starts dead in line, we always finish it with a tap wrench and just to ensure that it is yeah, so that was bottomed out now. Just to ensure that it's dead central, that's why we use the tap wrench. And that is a full thread in there now. So, see we've changed our, our cutter holder over. We've got the 17.4 mil slot drill in there. And the reason for that is because the seal is about 17 mil, although it is just pure rubber. So we go slightly over that and that just allows, once the seal's in the groove, it just allows the head gasket to squash it down and fill the hole. So what we're gonna do, we need to go five mil on this, five mil deep. So we just raise the bed and of course this machine is in metric sorry imperial rather than metric so what we do is we get this on zero zero on there and a full revolution of this is two and a half mil so what we do is we touch the tool on the on the face lift the tool off the uh, off the job slightly so what we're going to do start the cutter i'm going to wind down two revolutions i always go plus four down we go two revolutions plus four down Five mil, five mil and four thou, just to uh, freak you guys out that can't get your head round while working Imperial and metric. Five mil plus four thou means something to me. It seems totally obscure to anyone else, I'd imagine. And there we go. Perfect. So I'll just get this last one done. Bearing in mind on this one, this is one with a lug in it. See the, the lug down there. So this one's got to go five mil deeper. So we'll get that done and then this block is complete. Well, thanks ever so much for watching guys. Till another video, smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you again. Cheers.